Hello everyone and welcome! I'm Ace Walker, otherwise known as Kiv Kiv. And in this video, I've got some beastly support gameplay for you in the background here. I am using the Le Chateur. I don't know, the Le Chateur? Chateur? Uh, it's French, but apparently it sounds uh, Chinese for some reason when I say it. So, yeah, I'm not really too sure about that one, but. I will say this, the gun is a little beast. It's an absolute monster. It's uh, it's very fun to use, and uh, I have to say, I love it almost as much as Szechuan Sauce. No, correct that. I love it as much as Szechuan Sauce. Now, some of you may be wondering, why on earth am I playing with the support class? I never use that class. You'd be right on that one, <laughs> because I honestly feel as if the support class does not suit my playstyle any bit at all, except for in Battlefield 1. In this game, I think it doesn't do too bad, because it's a bit different to how it would play in the previous Battlefields. Now, back in those games, you would have huge LMGs with like 200 rounds in some of them, like in just one magazine. You wouldn't have to reload and you could shoot 200 bullets which is realistic to how some LMGs are. But the thing is, you could literally, and I would actually do this sometimes, you could literally shoot at someone and make them hide behind their cover, and as soon as they come out, it would be just enough time for you to just keep shooting, and they would just walk into your bullets. You wouldn't have to reload, and it would just work. Honestly, I remember doing it so many times to people, and it's a good feeling to do it, but it is a shitty way to play. And... To be honest, they weren't any bit at all good when it comes to close quarters. They would be too slow, and I wouldn't be able to, I feel as if, move around and be as flexible as I could with the other classes. So that's why, in this game, I actually don't mind them, because they're very different. They play a bit more like assault rifles. And so, they don't have as many rounds, which means I don't have to do the newbie technique of just shoot until they pop their head out and just literally walk into my bullets, but I actually do play a bit aggressive still, but not completely campy. I am able to really enjoy the class a lot more, and they're not as slow as they used to be. They're a bit faster, and I can still feel like I'm being a bit more flexible and able to run and gun which is why I like them. They're similar to how assault rifles used to work in the previous battlefields. They do have nice iron sights on a couple of them, and you have got that added range, which is very important in this game. So that's why I feel as if uh, the support class isn't too bad when you think about it for Battlefield 1, and I will play it from time to time, and definitely a lot more than what I would play uh, in the previous Battlefields. I would only just play them to unlock the guns in the other Battlefields, but in this game, I'm actually putting in the effort to have a go with them, and there's been a couple of uh, occurrences where I have actually made and hit a couple of nice shots or a nice clip with the gun, and it's like, damn, I actually enjoy playing this way. In this next section of the gameplay, I'm actually not minding this part of Conquest. I'm slowly trying to work my way towards that F objective, and I'm just keeping my eye out for the enemy, because I've learned that in Conquest, they could literally come from any direction. And with the airplanes and people just getting in them to just drop out and airdrop on top of people, they can literally be in every nook and cranny of the map. So that's why I've decided saying, hey, look, even though I'm coming from this objective, I'm going to keep my eye a little bit on that side and just make sure I don't get a shot in the back. So now that I've made it to the objective, we've got a couple of just broken buildings around here that I'm just going to try and clear out the enemy and then use my added range of the LMG to just slowly try and range out and just pop a couple shots in some people and just kill them from a distance. While this streak has been going pretty well so far, big problem with it though is that we've managed to take the enemy's flag right after their gimme. We're playing pretty aggressive and we've managed to take most of the flags. So the enemy team only has a couple of places that they can spawn from. Their base spawn or that G flag, which are both from that backwards direction. There we go. Come on, face. Yeah, there we go. That direction. So 
what's going to happen is that a good amount of the enemies are going to be coming from that side and they're going to hit hard because most of their team is going to be attacking this objective that we happen to be standing on and defending in our broken run down buildings and our lovely lovely little fort that we've managed to make here so I'm slowly trying to range it, but then the thing is, I'm not noticing that the enemy team has deployed their armor train, and it is slowly going to creep up on us, and uh, eventually I'll make the connection that, oh shit, we're going to die unless I get out of here. So at this point in the game, I'm just saying to myself, okay, let's reload, get rid of that suppression. Uh, we've got a couple of things shooting at us, a lot of artillery, but uh, we're doing okay. Okay, there's a heavy tank in the distance there. I think that was their train. Okay, yep, that's their train over there. Let's just mop up the next couple of enemies and then jet on out of here. So I've tried to put some damage in, but I'm running out of ammo. Don't have that level of speed that I want, so I switch into my Repedia pistol. It has got that wonderful gold camo. What a time to be alive. And that reload, damn, it is so good. I, it, I honestly love it. It gets me every time. It's such a cool reload. But uh, now that my teammates are here, there's a couple of them covering this objective, and I say, screw it. Okay, these guys will be right, hopefully. <laughs> I'm going to grab onto this horse, and I'm going to jet on out of here before I get uh, killed and my streak goes down the drain. So that is just about it for this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I do also hope you got the Rick and Morty reference. If not, go through from the start and uh, just give it your best shot. It's a pretty obvious one because it's a very, it's a very well-known quote. But uh, hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will catch you all on the next one. I've been Ace Hawk, or otherwise known as Kiv Kiv, and I'm out.